guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is Better Call Saul season 6 episode 10 reaction. As the previous episode, you remember the ending that now we are in Breaking Bad timeline. And I'm just really hoping that we are gonna still see Kim Wexler in the rest of episode because I don't think that the previous episode was the last time we we're gonna see her. I think we are probably gonna see Kim Wexler. I don't know which episode but I hope you're gonna see her again alright so before I start to watch episode 10 don't forget to subscribe and like this video so here we go you're sure you don't want to push I'm sure <laughs> what is Jimmy doing Oh no, what's going on? What is going on with the intro? Oh shit. Ta da! Jean steak for dinner. The game. What game? It's right there. You can see it, but you can't touch it. It's so close, but damn it, you just can't get in until now. I can make it happen. You? Sokka. So here's the deal. I will show you the game, and then we're done. doing Jimmy sorry about the lawyer thing I just slipped out hey do me a favor if you were ever to cross paths with my wife shh, oh <laughs> he scouts on her <laughs> did you catch your game last night the game what the hell is wrong with those guys well uh, I should probably be heading back. Well, thanks again. I still have no idea what is he doing. He wants to know how long he eats that food. That's why he turned on the timer. Cinnabon machine. <laughs> I could smell you coming up the hallway. Oh, I get that all the time. Here you go, guys. Is he doing this like every day? <laughs> we already know. Imagine if we see Kim here. Imagine. Two Air Jordan shoes for you. <laughs> Three linen shirts for free. Four cashmere sweaters out the door. <laughs> Five Patagonians to survive. Six swaggy sweatsuits in the mail. Oh! <laughs> oh, what? Too many. You gotta be precise, just three of each. Three minutes, got it? That's our window. Yeah, but why three minutes? Because? Because at three minutes, that's when security sees you on the cameras and the cops haul your ass to jail, all right? So let's go. That's why you only take three of each and only the pricey stuff. Hmm. When the store opens the next morning, they won't even know they were robbed. I'll tell you what's crazy. 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher comes into my office. <laughs> the guy is so broke, can't pay his own mortgage. One year later, he's got a pile of cash as big as a Volkswagen. That's crazy. Yeah, but you know how I'll do it, it ends. Oh, shit. Is the plans gonna work? Wait, who is this? Oh my god, I thought it was game. <laughs> Cargo space. He 
he's got to pick up in the airport in an hour. But it's a messy one, too. And if he's late, that's going to stink. Pun intended. Huh. Gene, is everything okay? Oh, my God. Are you... <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm just uh, putting out fires. It's a delivery issue. I can't wait around that long. We're closing for the night here. Hmm. Oh. If you promise me that Ricky will get back here by 10 a.m. tomorrow, I'll hold the box overnight. You would do that? Oh my God, you're a lifesaver. My guy will be there, 10 a.m. on the dot with flowers. Well, flowers won't be necessary, but thanks for the thought. You still got it. You still got it, so good, man. What if the plan is not working at all? I'm so fucking scared. What if there is something different tonight? Mm. I'm so scared, oh my god. <laughs> Come on! Only three minutes! Oh my god, oh my god! Air <laughs> Jordan shoes for you. Oh my god, seriously, can you quick? <laughs> I'm so scared. Luxury pumps to one shelf. Bro, how many did you Power steal? Space, Holy crap, seriously? Nineteen Calvin Leathers on the scene. No! Oh no, so, oh fuck me. You think our guys are gonna move to the Big Ten Lecture <laughs> site? Ohio State over there. Is he pass out? Oh my That's god! <laughs> Why he's not wake up? Mm. Holy Just crap, what the fuck is this? Wow. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> but I'm sure that you mean a lot. To oh come on, quick a lot, dude! Lots of people. Cinnabon would just hire a new manager. Ah, oh, dude. Do you know who? Poof. <sighs> What's the I know it's so bad, you know, stealing, but I'm really hoping that the plane is working. God damn it, that was so fucking intense. Oh my god. Sir, do you need help? Oh my god, not her! Well, Barbara's right here, if you need anything. Ooh la la! <laughs> oh, check this out. If I go down, you go down. Man, you don't have to threaten us, we're all friends here. <laughs> I am not your friend. Oh my god. And if you get greedy and you decide to come back for more, don't. Gene Takabek, you never heard of him. The Cottonwood Mall, you don't go there. You see me coming? You cross to the other side of the street. Now I need you to say it. We're done. Come on. Say it. We're done. Just say, say it. it. Say it. Hey, Gene, I see your car. Oh, shit. Look at you boys hard at work. <laughs> well, there you go. He fell in with a bad crowd back in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, huh? Never been. Lucky you. You're a good influence, G. Oh, no, no. actually in a gene timeline all right so this episode we are actually in a gene timeline not breaking bad timeline but yeah i actually like that we are back to the future right so i was kind of confused at the time because i believe the last time we saw i mean we are in gene timeline is the previous season right season five and of course i kind of um, a little bit forget what is happening to Jean and then yeah I remember that Jeff that guy um, actually know Jean I mean he know he is so good man because 
since he spent time in Albuquerque and yeah of course he saw the TV ads or billboards about Soul Goodman that's it that's the last time we saw Jean in the previous season right and then we are back to the future right now we are back in the Jean timeline and turns out Jimmy has a plan you know like stealing all those things from the mall and I'm so scared about that because it was so intense I mean I know it's wrong you know you steal but I really hope that plan is working and it is they are made it I thought that in this episode we're we are gonna in the Breaking Bad timeline but actually I'm fine with this you know Jean timeline because I actually forgot about what is the last time we saw Jean, you know, and I'm so glad that I remember it. I really like all the shot in this episode, and obviously the cinematography of Better Call Saul is always been great, and I really love this particular episode. This shot is really great. The cinematography, the black and white. It's so great and it's really intense you know when Jeff tried to steal all of that thing I'm so scared if the security saw it even though I know it's so wrong to steal it but Jimmy must do that you know so any problem with Jeff is finished because Jeff actually knows Jin is so good man you know he saw him and yeah that problem is finished, I think. And perhaps in the next episode, we definitely in the Breaking Bad timeline, or what? I think that in the next episode, we're gonna be in the Breaking Bad timeline. I'm, I'm really hoping that. Because the thing with Jeff in the Jin timeline is, I feel like it's finished. I want to see Kim again. Maybe, maybe we are gonna see Kim in the Jin timeline, I don't know, maybe. Maybe we're gonna see Kim in the mall, I think, or see buy something and meet Jimmy. I don't know. I, I really hope so. I don't know. I think that I really hoping that Jimmy, you know, he at least have a have a happy ending. You know, because it's really sad for him though. Alright, so that was my reaction for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it, and see ya!